I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston This News, and here are your top headlines today, April 2nd, 2024. The aged LaSalle Causeway's Basquiel Bridge has been undergoing restoration work on and off for quite some time, so no one thought much of the planned closure of the bridge to vehicular traffic. However, on Sunday, March 31, 2024, at approximately noon, the City of Kingston issued a traffic report update that both the lanes and the pedestrian sidewalk would be closed. Michel LaRose, a media relations representative for Public Services and Procurement Canada, responded to Kingstonist simply stating, due to an incident that happened yesterday, the reopening of the bridge is delayed. She would not say the nature of the incident or the estimated time of reopening. An entire safety network, from friends and family to police and counselling, may soon be as close as an app on your phone. Female-founded Australian tech company Genvis is aiming to transform how victim and survivors stay safe with the support of service providers in a technology pilot that will launch in the Kingston area in April 2024. The pilot project provides a personal safety app to survivors of intimate partner violence and gender-based violence that allows them to interact with service providers on their own terms. Kingston Police are requesting the public's assistance in locating a missing 47-year-old named Bradley Smith. Kingston Police say Bradley was last seen on the evening of Friday, March 29, 2024, between the hours of 11.30 p.m. and midnight in the area of Bath Road and Tanner Drive. His current whereabouts are unknown. Bradley is described by Kingston Police as a white male, 6 feet tall, with grey shoulder-length hair and a full facial beard. For more on this story and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAHB2024 for 10% off.